Hi, this is Rob from Lincoln Electronics, inviting you to catch the excitement of football and HDTV. We have low prices, service after the sale, and 7 delivery are available. This month's specials, 32-inch TV for $4.99, 42-inch TV for $7.99, and a 50-inch TV for $9.99. Lincoln Electronics is your place to buy HDTV. Lincoln Electronics, 1358 Lincoln Way East, Chambersburg, or check us out online at lincolnelectronics.com. Thanks for watching Public Opinion TV. I'm Maggie Davis. Here's your story of the day. I had one track mind that was getting that baby and getting that baby out of there. It didn't need to be in that deep of water. When Shippensburg resident Toby Hippensteel and his friend Steve Seibert drove out to Potato Road near Newville on Sunday evening, they expected it would be flooded. They did not expect to find an SUV stranded in the rising water. We so recognized the vehicle, and then that's when he called him. And he said he had this, his baby with him. He was in pretty deep water. And that's when we decided to take it upon ourselves to try to get the baby out. And Hibbensteel said he walked about 100 yards through four foot deep water to get to the car. It was a little scary walking back about. You got all that pressure coming against you, and you're carrying a two year old boy. You know, it's had a lot of stuff going through my mind. According to Pennsylvania State Police Carlisle, the SUV became stranded when Corey Beard of Newville drove around a barricade but obviously they didn't make it. Shortly after Hip and Steel got the toddler to safety, rescue personnel arrived with a boat to rescue the other people in the SUV. Everyone was rescued without injury. Beard was charged with disorderly conduct. Hip and Steel said his parents taught him to respond quickly in an emergency. Mm, just do what you gotta do. They always told us, you know, do what you have to do. If somebody needs help, you help them. You don't wait. For the public opinion, this is Jim Tuttle.